being open we've kind of where you feel he could improve uh, and moving forwards and he's recently come out and kind of been critical towards past trainers he's mentioned Rob McCracken his time with him and he's spoken on, on yourself have you seen any of his most recent comments I have not and you know what uh, I don't I don't I don't need to you, you know I know I know uh, since since the first time I seen him when he had like eight or nine fights in, in England, I had one of my boys fighting over there, and I, I seen that he, he had a star in himself, you know, just the star, just his looks, his body, and then when I see him fight, obviously, obviously, good skills, good talent, you know, that's all I need to know, you know, and, you know, it doesn't matter who is training him or who, or who was his former trainer or he's going to, or who is going to, who's going to be his, his future trainers if he ever changes, uh, he's, he's got talent and he's got power and, and, you know, he's got, you know what it takes to become a champion here he's already a champion he's already a unified champion before he already accomplished a lot uh you know he doesn't need to prove anything to nobody i think he's a great fighter with whoever trainer he he is with it doesn't have to be whoever it is i think he's he's gonna be a great fighter because he already accomplished a lot with with his first trainer he he should do the same in the future just as i've made a note of it um do you mind if i was to read to you what he said um, so he said, I recall when I was training for Usyk and I had Robert Garcia on board. The fight date kept getting pushed back and the general conversation in the Usyk camp was we need this fight to happen soon because we don't want AJ to spend as much time as possible with Robert Garcia. In my mind, I was like, I don't feel like I was being taught anything. So I didn't think it mattered if I spent a year with him. I was still going to do my thing anyway. The situation I found myself in Garcia, I, I was actually working with Angel Fernandez and Angel knew that he needed to grow his experience. So I left it with him him to decide who he felt he would connect with best. I believe that there's not much point in the athlete making a decision in the trainer um, if the trainer doesn't respect the other coach in the room. You know what? Every 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 fighter, every person has an opinion. Uh, you know, I I remember after after the fight with Usyk, I heard nothing but good things about boxing people. Everybody calling me. You know what? He looked better than the first time. He was a little more aggressive. He landed some really good body shots. So I know that I did my job. I know that he did look better than the first time, you know, from not only myself, but the whole boxing world said it. Uh, you know, fighters, you know, fighters come from saying one thing to another, you know, if it was that, if, if we really had that situation, then he's, then then the problem is he doesn't have a communication with his management team because when I first got to camp, I wasn't very happy with what I seen going on in, in, in his training camp. And I told his team, fly me home. I don't want to be part of this. I'm not going to be part of this. You guys got to fly me home. And they convinced me to stay. So if that was the case, I think Anthony would have, should have said, let him go. Because I don't want to work with them. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with them. And those are the words of Robert Garcia, the former trainer of Anthony Joshua, as he responds to Anthony Joshua commenting that he learned nothing while he was with himself. And what Robert said to me, me counterpunching Robert Garcia's comments, I believe they were pretty standard and classy. Um, they weren't words of animosity or deflection or, you know, uh, he didn't feel offended. He just pretty much said it how it was like, well, hey, um, I don't even really want to hear what Anthony Joshua said, first of all, because at first, you know, <clears throat> they asked him if you even heard the comments that Anthony Joshua said about you. It was like, well, I don't have to say anything about you. Let me just speak my piece. And I think Anthony Joshua was a great fighter. And I seen him when he was eight or nine fights in and he looked good then. And I knew he had talent and I knew he was going to go far and he doesn't need to prove anything with anybody. And, you know, hey, good luck to him, you know. And, of course, the interviewer <laughs> will instigate because he does want the reaction and the response, you know, naturally. And he told him that. And when he told him, like, well, he didn't learn anything, Robert was just like, well, if he felt that way, because everyone knew I wanted to leave. Now, this can be backed up by what Robert already said earlier. We already know Robert said he wanted to leave the training camp because he didn't like how it was ran months ago. 
okay? He said he didn't like how it was ran months ago. Now, I think, honestly, for Robert Garcia saying he was going to leave, and that was like earlier this year, I believe. Maybe, I want to say February or March of this year. He said that he wanted to leave the camp. Now, I think when Anthony heard that, that was a counter from that interview that Robert said he wanted to leave. That's what I think. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, he was responding to what Anthony Joshua said recently because he just heard it. Now... Him saying, well, if he felt that way, he needs to have a better communication with his team because I was going to leave. And if he felt that he didn't learn anything, he could have let me go at that point. And my thoughts on that is he's absolutely right. You know, I think uh, like Robert said, well, hey, a lot of people praised me for what I did. The fight was better when I was in his corner. Um if they would have stopped the fight or whatever and he would have won, they would have been looking at me a lot different. They would have been looking at me as an effing hero, if you guys heard. But that's absolutely true. You know, um, if Anthony didn't want Robert Garcia in his camp, that's, you know, it's just like being with somebody you don't want to be with and they're saying, hey, I want to leave you. Oh, boom, that's your opportunity to get out. But Anthony didn't do that, okay? And they convinced Anthony to stay along. And obviously his management team, that's who he was talking to, you know, to tell, hey, I want to leave because I don't like how it's ran. Obviously, they didn't relay that message back to Anthony thorough enough because if Anthony didn't learn anything, right, he would have kept them along. But of course, there's other sides of that story, because as you guys know, Joshua trusted An uh, Angel Fernandez and Angel Fernandez, I think, would work decently with Robert Garcia. So I think it was, I think he left that up to Angel and his, his communication and his uh, relationship with Robert Garcia. So I think that's what the case was. However, um, back to Robert though, him saying that, hey, Anthony Joshua, you know, he did well. He jailed well if he finds someone else good to him, more power to him. You know, I think it was pretty respectful. You know, I don't think it was any animosity again. You know, so shout out to Robert Garcia. But I will say this. And I do agree with Robert Garcia. If Robert Garcia would have won, I think he would have been still with Anthony Joshua. Okay, so I think a lot of trainers get thrown under the bus because of the outcome of a fight. If that fight would have went decision and he would have won the decision. You know, in Saudi Arabia, I think Robert Garcia would still be around. You know, I think people make decisions based on the outcome of fights that have nothing to do with the trainers and a lot to do with the fighters and the judges, okay? And I think the trainers get the shitty end of the stick each and every time because someone has to be blamed besides the fighter, and you know, instead of the fighter, you know, being held accountable for the actions they do in the ring or what they were trained to do. Okay, so, um, but again, shout out to Robert Garcia for taking the high road in this particular interview because he could have blasted Joshua. He could have said a lot of bad things about him like a lot of people do when they get offended. But you can tell, obviously, he wasn't offended by what Joshua said. Okay, so that's a good thing. It's a good note. Um, and it's good for not burning bridges. You know, um, I don't know if he will go back with Robert Garcia, but... You know, as of four or five months ago, you know, Robert was still in discussion to be the trainer of Anthony Joshua, or was that last year? Maybe eight or nine months ago. So, you know, because this year is going by pretty fast. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Robert Garcia responding to Anthony Joshua's comments that he didn't learn anything from the senior trainer from Oxnard, California. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.